I'm Atubo George and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Hey, are you ready today? Let's call for our daily bread. Say this with me. Say, Father, I demand and I receive right now my daily bread. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Expect a miracle today because it's coming. It's coming. Praise God. I see it coming. And I would like to hear your testimony. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I, I see someone being healed in the knee. Your knee has been hurting. If you can just place your hand right there now on that knee, your, your right leg. I command the tissues in that knee to be healed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because I can see that some tissues are torn. That's, that's the source of the pain. There's a tearing of the tissue there. I... I command that those tissues to close up now. Thank you, Jesus. And be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, whatever, whatever is not right in your body. Right now, can you just wrap your hand around your body? Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As someone, you feel heat all over you. You always feel that heat all over your body. You don't know what it is. But you just always... Now, not that your temperature is high. You yourself feel heat. And it makes you uncomfortable. I declare the name of the Lord Jesus. The time of that to stop has come. Yes, just wrap your hands around your body. I command whatever the source of that heat is. I command it to be healed right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I, I see kidneys being healed. I see kidneys being healed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, diabetes be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, may God restore your organs right now. Let the Spirit of God restore your organs right now. It's as if the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwelled in you. That Spirit, the one who raised Jesus from the dead, He will quicken, He will give life to your mortal body. And how is He going to do it? He's going to do it by the agency of the same Spirit by which he raised Jesus from the dead. So if that spirit by God can raise Jesus from the dead, hey, it can give life or he can give life to every organ that is failing in your body. And how is it going to do it? By the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Can you just raise your hands right now? I sense someone needs a miracle where their organ is concerned. You really need a miracle. You've reached that point. Now you're a believer, but now you are struggling with your faith where that thing is concerned. 
And thoughts of debt just keeps coming to you like, look, this thing's just going to end up in debt. That's how you're beginning to feel. Now, this was not how you were feeling before, but it, it appears it is really drowning and draining your faith. So now you really don't know what to believe anymore. Hear me? The mercy of God is available for you. And I stand right now in faith. Can you just stretch your hands towards however you're watching me? If you're watching me through your phone, just stretch your hands right now. I, I call for the mercy of God over your life. Lord Jesus, you remember the man who you told, if you can believe, all things are possible. But the man said to you, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. That's the situation this fellow is in right now. He needs help. And Lord Jesus, it is not something you cannot do. Therefore, right now, I stand in faith. And I declare a renewal of his organs. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, a renewal of his organs. Yes, it's happening right now. It's happening right now. Now, yes, yes, it's happening right now. There's a sensation going around your body right now. That's the healing power of God. Just receive it, receive it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take your healing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see someone being healed in the eye. One of your eyes has an issue. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Be healed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be healed. Be healed. Now, whatever is wrong in your body, I see a young man. There's, there's something wrong with your reproductive organ. Now, it's not something you can talk about. But there's something wrong, something like an injury. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. You see, God loves you so much. That's why he does these things. I'm not just speaking by myself. As I hear, that's what I'm saying. Listen, the Lord is healing you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I hear the Lord say, in three days, in three days, you will notice it's completely gone. Completely, completely gone. You don't have to be ashamed anymore, praise God. It's completely gone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. In Jesus' name. This is glorious. Now, now it's so beautiful when, when things like this happen, you know. The Holy Spirit just, we follow him. I didn't come here to preach a message that I have been preparing to preach. I just came here to be his mouthpiece to you. So as I hear, so I speak, even in teaching. So Father, we bless you for everyone you have healed right now. Now I didn't have to mention your case because I can't mention everything. See that now? But then, the hand of the Lord is upon you right now and is bringing you healing. I'm still, um, I'm still seeing people that the Lord is healing. Someone, you, there's a sensation on, on your face, like half of your face, somewhere around here. There's a sensation like it goes through you and you, you, you always get scared 
that you, 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 you what comes to your mind is paralysis but now you know that's not what God wants for you you know that right so I'm standing in faith with you right now and I declare that there is a reversal of everything that have gone wrong in your body there is a reversal right now in the name of the Lord Jesus I put a stop to that sensation and not just putting a stop to the sensation you are completely healed from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I see someone, wow, praise God. Okay, okay. Someone is being healed on the left leg. Your left leg, just stretch it out and just kick it. Just kick it out. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, something that have to do with stiffness, I command that leg to be free now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, everyone with heart trouble, I, I speak healing over you right now. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now I see someone you've been dealing with fear in your heart. Now, you, you got into some trouble and now the trouble is affecting your health. It's affecting your health. Your health. Your health. Now, you feel the spasm sometimes and it's, you know it's, 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 it's from a place of fear. You, you, you just sit down sometimes and and think of how hopeless life can be because of some mistakes that you have made. And so because of that, presently, you feel the spasm. You just sit down and you, know, you just shake like that. There is deliverance for you. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Listen, all that was needed... And you've done that already. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's saying it this way. All that was needed to reverse that situation is the repentance that you have repented before the Lord. Because uh, I see you praying to the Lord and say, Lord, I, I, I will never make this mistake again. Yeah. And he heard you. He heard you. But the challenge you're having right now is you are still thinking that this is the the outcome or the result of your wrong so in your mind you're thinking even if God had forgiven you this is one thing that you will still used to remember now that's not what the Spirit of God is saying to you that's what the devil is saying to you and I can tell you that with all boldness because that's what the Lord is saying to me and as a proof right now I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus and end to that whatever that thing is called and end to it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus be free because it's an affliction from the devil I command it to leave you now get out from his body get out from her body in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I command it to be free in Jesus mighty name <laughs> Amen. I see someone, you've been, you've been battling with the thoughts of death. You, you, you just feel anything can just happen now or die. That, that's what you say to yourself. Now stop listening to the devil. Number one, understand that God is not interested in your death. And two, let me tell you this that will shock you. If you die today, you are not going to meet the Lord. To so say, oh, you know, what, what's the point? Hey, even if I die, well, it's not to go to heaven. You are not going to heaven when you die. There is no dead man in heaven. Praise God. Oh, that's the truth. There is no dead man in heaven. The only people in heaven are people that are living and are alive, not people that are dead. When people die, they don't go to heaven. 
So where did they go to? I don't know, but it's not heaven. So to get that lie off your mind. And be free. Because if you die, you are going to be a prisoner to the spirit of death. And you are going to remain a prisoner until Jesus comes. You remember when Jesus rose from the dead, the Bible says that those saints that have died before rose up with him. The Bible said they came out of their graves. Jesus, because he defeated death at that time, death had to give up every saint it was holding. Now that's to tell you that death had power over them. Including Abraham. Until Jesus came and defeated that spirit of death. And it had to free them. But now, having been made free, why are we still falling into that same prison? Because that's what happens today. Death is still showing its power. Death is still saying that, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm still in control. Forget what they told you Jesus did. I'm still in control. And that's why the Bible says Jesus is reigning until God have put all his enemies under his feet. And the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. And how is Jesus reigning today? He's reigning through us. He's reigning through us. He's reigning through us. Praise God. Now, so how are we going to know that death has been put under him completely and destroyed when you rise to that point where you know it that you have defeated that spirit called death and it had no, has no power over you anymore? Praise God. It has no power. So you, you don't have any fellowship with death. Now, I said all that to say this to you. You that have been dealing with thoughts of death. I'm saying this because you are beginning to accept it. At first, you were fighting, but now you're beginning to accept it. Like, what's the worst thing? Now? I die, when I die, I go to be... I'm telling you the truth now, so you better wake up. You're not going to be with the Lord. You're going to become a prisoner to the spirit of death. So reject it and leave. Because the Lord said, I should speak like this to you. Reject it and leave. Your death is not going to do any good to you or to your, your, whoever you're dying and leaving behind. It's not going to do anything good to you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Oh, you, you brought life. That's what he said. He said, I am come that they might have life and have it in abundance. And so, so, so where is the life that Jesus brought to you? That you're sitting down here and having fellowship with the spirit of death. It's suggesting things to you and you're accepting it. Reject it. Get out of that place. Wake up. Just get out of that place. It's wrong. It's the wrong place to be. Get out of it. You're not dying. You will leave. Yes, you will leave. So better start adjusting your mind to that truth. And enjoy the life that Jesus has brought to you. Praise God. That's the truth. Oh, we give you praise, Father. Thank you. Thank you for everyone you are touching right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I command fear to leave you now. Be free from fear. In Jesus' name. Allow faith to fill your heart. Because God loves you. Oh, he loves you. Praise God. He loves you. And he says, I should tell you that he loves you. Everyone watching me right now, God loves you. And, and he, he, Ali Baruch Hosea, he's done everything to prove that love. What else do you want him to do? Everything, everything. You know, you know, when he gave us the Holy Spirit, that was it. 
That was it. That was his last card. I'm telling you the truth. That's because because that's what makes him God. It's it. You know, you 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 can't know God except through the Holy Spirit. God can't do anything except through the Holy Spirit. And it is the same Spirit that He looked at us and released to us. Listen, guys. We ought to live better lives. Oh, yeah. We ought to live better lives. Praise God. Oh, Lord. I refuse to receive your grace in vain. I refuse to receive your grace in vain. I refuse. I refuse. I take advantage of the grace of God. I take advantage of that grace. That's why I refuse to be sick. That's why I refuse to let, let, let sickness put me under pressure till I begin. Now, you know, you know, that's what it does. Puts you under pressure and then you now begin to confess failure. Well, you know, we can't help it. We all fall sick sometimes. No! I refuse it. I have what it takes to resist that sickness. The same way he said, resist the devil and he will flee from you. It's the same way you begin to feel symptoms in your body. I resist the symptom. Hey, where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? No, no, no. Where is Lord, Lord, what's going on here? Where is this coming from? I receive wisdom now. Because cause, cause I'm not going to let this stay in my body. I'm resisting it. And hey, guess what? You've been given all authority and all power. And above all, his presence is there with you. Just in case you don't know what to do. He's there to tell you what to do. <laughs> Can you imagine all this blessing that we have received? So when I say we've got to live better lives, I mean it. Make up your mind, brothers and sisters. There is a better life to live. Wake up and live it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can you join me and give praise to God for everyone he has healed today? Now, I didn't know that that's this how today's broadcast was going to be. But man, it, it, it was just rushing towards me. I like it. I had to succumb to it. Praise God. Because I know it's the spirit of God. Oh, Father, we bless you. Thank you for everyone you have healed and touched. And their testimonies is permanent. Amen. Jesus mighty name Amen Praise God I'll see you tomorrow Bye bye